It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're going to look here at wideout A.J. Brown. He's one of the league's best, currently third in the NFL in receiving yards. It's the Eagles and the Rams under the lights on Sunday night. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And last week, they put together a three-touchdown victory and were never challenged in that game. Let's see if they have a little bit of a letdown here. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now it's second and ten. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Second and seven. It's Barkley on the counter. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 44. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 23, here's second down and one. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he's down inside the 15. He had three catches last week. That one his third on this drive alone. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. 
Second down, here's Barkley again. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That's complete, right around the eight. And they're able to corral him right around the eight, and that's short of the first down. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Hurts to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Eagles! Dallas Goddard, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles are on the board first on the road here in L.A. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. Still going. One man to beat. And just not quite enough gas in the tank. Down to the four-yard line, but still a sensational effort. All praises for a tremendous return. But how about the guys that never gave up on the play, refused to let him get into the end zone, and tracked him down before he got there and made the tackle? A lot of pride exhibited by guys on special teams. The L.A. offense going to go to work for the first time, and it is the veteran Matthew Stafford at the helm in his 16th NFL season and fourth with the Rams. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win. The oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, we went from scoreless to 13-0 in a hurry. First, their offense had the touchdown, and now the defense comes through with one. You can't get a better one-two punch than that. Fall off a touchdown offense by getting one on defense. If they keep that effort up, you'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Rams offense and Cooper Cup making their way back out. And he's been as productive as anyone in the NFL in the middle part of this season. The NFL's leader in receiving yards to this point, and he doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now a toss left side. It's Williams. Fighting through. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun, Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the gun, here's Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he's brought down. 
Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Now Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Again, it's Stafford. Throw right side, going to be caught by Higby. And he'll get positive yardage there as he'll be touched down from the nine, second and five. At the Eagles, nine-yard line. Stafford and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down back to throw Stafford and that is incomplete one thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. So the three points there in CD that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time out, look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes comes in mind to me it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other start of the second quarter and it's the Eagles in possession as they're looking at a second down and nine to go throwing his hurts and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete that is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. Well, the home team's offense and their wideout getting set to go once more. And as we move deeper into the season, he continues to put up big numbers on a weekly basis. As you see here, he's the NFL's leader in receptions to this point of the year. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Quick throw caught by Cup out wide. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. It's the gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 45-yard line. Up the middle, it's Williams. 
Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. I know any coach would take second and three all day. You think you're in pretty good shape. Instead, after two runs, though, they're at fourth and one. Didn't pick it up. Back-to-back one-yard gains. This defense, the challenge was accepted. On fourth down, Stafford. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. From the 41, Hurts. Over the middle, complete. It's Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 32. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the gun, it's Hurts. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll try and run for it with Barkley, and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are able to stretch out their lead. And that touchdown is going to put him in double digits now for the year. It's his 10th rushing touchdown of the campaign. Elliott on for the extra point. And it's 21-3. to three. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So from the 26-yard line, here's a second and eight. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Stafford. That to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and ten. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he's up to the 44-yard line. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He'll look to throw. Oh, 
open man. That's Devontae Smith. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Zone read. Here's Shipley. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. From the 24, Hurts. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Barkley inside handoff. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Eagles continue to pull away here in this first half. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if this is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And that's pretty good coverage by the kick team. As he'll only be able to get this past the 15-yard line and no further. They begin the drive with Williams. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. If it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's right. miles away and smiling. And happy. Here's Stafford. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Stafford looks to throw again. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. There's Stafford. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Open man is Atwell, complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup, complete. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and seven at the 17 yard line. To the air again, Stafford. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third and nine here. Yeah, 
Throwing is Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. To throw is Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Kadarius Tony from six yards away. And the Rams get a late score here, the final minute of the first half. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, and when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as head coach? I tell my team to sprint to the line to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. Now he's been a tough man to stop in this first half. He's putting up some big numbers already, and we have yet to reach halftime. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's going deep for Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland. And as you see... They were winners back on Thursday night. Deshaun Watson, sharp in the victory, as his guys get back within a game of 500. From there, we head over to the Windy City. Check on the Bears at home, Soldier Field. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Minnesota Vikings. J.J. McCarthy, terrific in the win, as his guys up their mark to 7-4 with the victory. Finally, on Monday night, Ravens and Chargers from SoFi at 5.15 local time. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, 
Well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. And how about that return as he's all the way inside the 20-yard line? During the week, the special teams coach puts together a game plan that he presents to the head coach. And in every game plan, there's one big play that he points to the head coach and says, listen, when we need it, we can go to it. I think they did exactly that on that one. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Here now, second and four. The six. Brings up second and four. Stafford now to throw. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and threw it his way. What a big time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we transition into the second half of the season, he continues to put up big numbers on a consistent basis. Currently the NFL's leader in passing as we play here in the month of November. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a yard. Again, it's Barkley. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 84 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Out to his left. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's Hurts to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Throwing his hurts. Steps away. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. Campbell making the catch. 
But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. It's a turnover on down. Back to throw, Stafford. This one to the left to Higby. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 29-yard line. Now Stafford. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Now they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Rodgers to return it. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. Up the middle with Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Well, now after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. They give the tackle to Quentin Lake. Second and ten. A handoff to Barkley. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. He's having a big game run in the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The offense is going to stay out there. They've converted twice, failed once so far on fourth down. Let's see what's in store here. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. The kick by Elliott is good. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Off a of play action. Here's Stafford. This ball deep for Tony. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert to first down. Stafford. To the right side and intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. 
Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do. It gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. He was brought down at the eight-yard line. First and goal at the eight-yard line. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. From the gun, it's Hurts. That is caught at the 7-yard line. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Jalen Hurts scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. And these Eagles may have been the first to really perfect this play. Let Hurts take the snap, then get some help pushing from behind. This was so successful, some folks, including me, were calling for this play to be outlawed. But while it's still in the books, no one runs it better than Hurts, and he takes this one in. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Elliott now to kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford set to take over once again. And it's been a rough night at the office for him. He's been more of a liability than an asset throughout the contest. And this offense is having a hard time overcoming his struggles to this point. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, C.D., but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. A shotgun snap for Stafford. They got his man complete. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. So we're on the other side of the field now. It's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Stafford. His throw incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team... They've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here's Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A give to Williams, running right. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams, 
A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Five plays there on that drive. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. A first down carry for Barkley. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now, whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. They're going to look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. It's Barkley on the counter. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. That's Byron Young, who ranged in that time and stopped him for a loss. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. 126 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Spinning away. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10. At the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this one to cup complete. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Now it's Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. The Rams on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This time they face a third and two. Here's Stafford. That is caught. And he is going to have a Rams first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Now a second and two. It's the gain of eight. Brings up second and two. At the 40 to throw is Stafford. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A seven-yard game. That's good for a Rams first down. 
from the 50 and Stafford. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. The ball comes out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Second and short now following the fumble. The Rams take over first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Stafford. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Throwing again at Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. Stafford now to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing a Stafford. They'll get this one complete to Atwell. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. A gain of five brings up second and five. Back to throw, Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cooper Cup with career touchdown number 60. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time. Than you're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like... Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it doesn't feel right. Exactly. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll run for it with Barkley, and that should do it. He's got a first down, and the Eagles, they can run it out from here. They'll go to Barkley again, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Throwing his hurts. Quick slant to Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 16. Here's a give to Barkley. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now Saquon Barkley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Thank you. 
So they lost yardage and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. <laughs> I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.